Hi guys, welcome to another episode with Crafts with Zia. I'm here with my niece. What's your name? Juliana. Juliana. Juliana, what are we going to do today? We're going to make dessert imposters. Dessert imposters. And what does that mean? That means it's, it's um, dessert, but it looks like food. It's des it looks like a food, but it's actually dessert, right? So what yeah. are we going to do today? What, what are we going to do? Broccoli. We're going to make some dessert look like broccoli, and we're going to fool Daddy, right? Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. So rule number one, anytime you make anything with food, we have to... Wash your hands! Wash your hands. So what we're going to do is we're going to wash our hands, and we'll be right back. This is the fake broccoli, and this is the real broccoli. What looks, do you think? It looks pretty good, right? What do you think? Which one's real or not? Uh-huh. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos. Very good. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to start, and we're going to just let you know what the ingredients that we're using. Yeah. So we have Rice Krispie Treats, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you can make them, or you can buy them packaged. And we have white chocolate. And we have some white sprinkles. They're non pareils they're the small round ones. And if you have green, great. And if you have white, great. If you have multicolor, great. Either way, we're going to color it. And we have some orange. Yellow. I mean yellow. Yellow uh, powdered coloring. And, and we have green powder color. Okay, and then we have... Chocolate. No, oh, no. Tootsie Rolls. I know I have one. Oh, you'll have them today. So we have uh, some Tootsie Rolls. And then we also have some cocoa powder. Ooh. Uh, you said white chocolate. We have some paint brushes here. Mm -hmm. And for inspiration, we have real broccoli. real broccoli so we can see what it looks like, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna just put this right here so we can just look at it. Look at it and we're gonna we're gonna use it as a model. So what we do, we're gonna make it look like that, right? Yeah, okay. can we make the stem longer? We can make the stem longer, perfect. Okay, excellent. So let me get some stuff. Let me get a, a pan with some parchment paper. Let's set, us, set it up and then we can show what we're doing, okay? Okay. Right. Okay, everybody. So we're gonna take, we're gonna start with making the Rice Krispies. The Rice Krispies. So what we're gonna do is, basically, we're gonna, let me get a knife, hold on a second. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the head of the broccoli and the stem separately, and then we're gonna put it together, okay? Wait, so are we gonna use edible glue? We're gonna use edible glue, that's right, that's correct. We're gonna use white chocolate for glue. What do you think about that? That is so cool. Very cool. Okay, let's get the camera a little bit closer so they can see what we're doing, okay? Yeah. Okay, so basically we're going to do the head mm -hmm. of the broccoli first, and then we're going to do the stem. Yeah, show okay? your face. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> okay, so this is what we do. We're going to take the Rice Krispie Treats. Can I open it? Yep, open it. Go ahead. I'll take one, too. Okay. Oh, we only need two? Yeah, we'll just do one first, and then we can do a whole bunch of them, I okay? I could smell them through my mask. You could smell them through your mask? We'll eat one later, okay? Okay, so what are we going to do? We're taking the Rice Krispie Treat and we're breaking it up into three small pieces and we're going to make three bowls. And then we're going to put it together. Like that. Like this. You're going to squish them and then you're going to make a cap. See, Is this cap good? of the broccoli. It's perfect. Okay, and then we're going to take out our thumb and we're going to press a little bit. So we make a little area. Can I start dipping mine now? Just one second. So we're going to make a, a little thumb print on Look, one I side. I made a little small one. Perfect. So we're gonna put a little thumbprint here so we have a little area for the branch and yes. it looks like a little cap, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Show the camera. See, this is Juliana. See how it's uneven? It looks good. And this is Zia's. Very good, perfect, okay. So now we're gonna put it down and now we're gonna make the stems. Yeah. Okay, so the stems are made from the Tootsie Rolls. So you're going to take two Tootsie Rolls and you're going to open them up. Okay. 
Oh, these are cool. Do they smell good? Yeah. Uh -huh. It smells like coffee. It smells like coffee? It's chocolate. <laughs> you got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. open this one for you. I'm good at untwisting. You're good at untwisting? Very good. Okay. Now, you're going to take each one of them, one at a time, mm -hmm. and you're going to roll it. Okay? You're going to so squish it. With, 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 put a little muscle in it. You're going to roll it. It's hard to roll it. It's hard to roll it. See? See, this is what it looked like, and now it looks like this, right? Let me see what you look like. Oh, you little, you need a little muscle. You need a little muscle. Try it again. Like that? Yeah, good. Okay. I'm stretching it out. Yeah, stretch it with your hands. If you can't try to stretch it out, you could stretch it out with your hands like this. Perfect. That looks good. Perfect. It's easy when you stretch it out. It's easy when you stretch it out? Okay, so Juliana's advice is stretch it out instead of rolling it. And it becomes longer. And it becomes longer, okay? So now, we're going to take, one of them is going to be the trunk, and then one of them we're going to cut in three pieces, and we're going to make branches, okay? So I'm going to do this one as the branches. Wait, I'm going to make this so a So I cut this longer. one. Oh, no! That's okay. Perfect. You can rip oh, it. Oh my gosh. That's it. Perfect. No, it's good. You oh. got three pieces. Oh, yeah, for the branch. Three pieces for the branches. And then one piece for the trunk, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you're going to take the trunk. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take your three pieces. And you're going to make like a little tree. And you're going to press it together so it sticks. Can we do them like awkwardly? Uh, you want to put it to the top because it looks, it's got to look like this. See how the. The oh. broccoli is. Uh -huh. See how the Look, broccoli has branches. Like arms. It, yeah, it looks like arms. Perfect. See, mine looks like arms too. Can I add one more branch? Sure. Let's get another tootsie roll. So, let me get you another tootsie roll. Stretch it out like Juliana likes. Mm. Right. There you go. Thank you. Okay. So Zia has three branches and Julian has four. It really doesn't matter. Again, guys, the broccoli is... Awkward. Awkward. That's a good word. Um, there's no perfect broccoli. Every broccoli piece looks different. So this is our trunk, right? It's falling so, apart. Like it's okay. It's going to dry. We're going to do it with the chocolate. It's going to get hard. Okay? So this, we're going to just leave over here. Okay? Yours looks like a real broccoli branch. Yours looks like broccoli branch branch, too. Okay, so now we're going to just leave that here. Now we're going to work on the caps again. Are we coloring them? Yes, we're going to color them. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to coat them in white chocolate. Zia, what's the sprinkles for? The sprinkles. So you see these little dots? Oh, yeah. Right? So you see the little dots on the but broccoli? Should we, should we paint these two on top? No, no, no. We're, we're not, the, the point of dessert imposters is that you, you're making everything like a dessert. You're not using real broccoli, right? So these... Yeah, can we put them on top? We're going to put them on top and then no, color them. Before we color them, can we put them on top so they look like a yes. little green? Yes. What we're going to do is this. So we're going to take our white chocolate mm. and we're going to melt our white chocolate. Wait, we have to wait an hour to melt it? No, no. I'm going to do it right now. So listen. Can we're gonna I open it. Yes. So we're gonna take our white chocolate. We're gonna melt it. We're gonna dip our caps, right? In it. In it. We're gonna coat all the outside, and then we're gonna dip this. Look. Then we're gonna dip this inside the sprinkles, so we get all the sprinkles on top and get all those little dots. And then we're gonna paint it. And then we're gonna paint it. So here's the thing: you can use white chocolate and any type of nonpareils and then paint it. Or you could take white chocolate and add green powder color. You cannot put food coloring inside chocolate because it will seize, okay? It will get chunky. So the chocolate's gonna get melted and then we're gonna put green powdered food coloring. Should I break it up? You can break it up. Let me get a bowl, hold on, hold on. So. You can also use the green um, Merkins chocolate, the ones that you make lollipops with. 
I made a bowl for you, okay? What's the American chocolate? Uh, it's a type of chocolate that a lot of people use for lollipops. Do you make lollipops? Yes, I make lollipops. Okay, so let me get the bowl, and then we're going to melt it. Do you know what we're, how we're going to melt it? In the microwave? No, well, you can melt it in the microwave, but that's not how we're going to do it. We're going to melt it. On the stove? On the stove, but on a double boiler. Do you know what a double boiler is? It's a pan on top of one other pan? It's uh, close. It's a bowl on top of a pan that has water on the bottom. And do you know why we do that? Why? Because chocolate needs to melt slowly. You can't put chocolate in a pot and put it on the stove because it'll burn. So if you put water in a pot and then you let the water boil and you have another bowl that sits on top, the steam will melt the chocolate in the bowl without the fire being right underneath the, the chocolate. Can we mix it while it's up? You can okay, mix so it. Okay, so me and Juliana are by the stove and we're being mm -hmm. very careful, right? Mm -hmm. Very uh, careful. And you need adult supervision for this, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're getting the double boil r boiler ready and basically- To melt the chocolate. To melt the chocolate. So basically so what we, we got the pot with the boiling water and the medium flame. And now we have a bowl with some white chocolate on top mm -hmm. and we're basically delicious. delicious and basically we're going to put it on top of the pot right yeah now basically this is indirect heat okay and that's what's going to melt the chocolate mm -hmm. and the other thing that we're going to do can you open this for me sure okay easy perfect and we're going to put a little bit just a little bit of can green. i sprinkle it yes yeah, but it's a little bit okay just a little Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Be careful. I'm careful. Okay. Look, I see it melting when I move it. Okay, perfect. So okay, we're going to give it a few minutes to mix it up. Okay, we're almost there, right? Mm -hmm. Does it look good? Mm hmm Okay. So good. So delicious. So good. Oh, okay. All right. I think mm. it's good. We're going to shut the fire off. Wait, I want to show them something. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to get off the chair and we're going to set our camera on the other okay, side. Okay, so we're back. We melted our chocolate. And there's one thing I did do. I added two tablespoons of oil. Oil inside the chocolate to make it extra thin, okay? To make it extra thin. Does it smell good? It smells amazing. It smells amazing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have our chocolate melted and we have our... Oh, let me see if I can do this. I cause... smell it every second. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Oh, don't So we fall. have our non-parels inside of... What's a non -parel? That means a, a round sprinkle, sprinkle. See, like the ball sprinkles? Mm. Okay. All right, let's put this down here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cap. Let me do mine first, and then you can do yours, okay? Okay. We're going to take our cap, and we're going to dip... The whole thing. Oh, that's so cool. We're going to dip the whole thing in chocolate. Okay. Then we're going to pick it up with our hands. With our hands. With our hands. Okay. We're going to let it drip, 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 drip. Drip, drip. Okay. We're going to drip, 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 drip. I'm going to let it drip all the way until it's not dripping anymore. And then, remember, the bumpy side. Mm -hmm. We're going to dip it inside the nonpareils like this. I'm going to roll it. Can I do mine now? Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. And then... We're going to paint it. Well, we're going to let it dry first. Then we're going to paint it. So you see how... Do we have to wait 200 hours? No, we don't have to wait 200 hours. So you see how <laughs> we have the white nonpareils? You can get the green nonpareils or, or even if you have the rainbow nonpareils. But it's going to turn green because we're going to end up painting them with some dust, okay? Yeah. So after I have this, I'm just going to put it here to let it dry. Juliana, you want to do yours? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, do it with the spoon. That way you don't get your hands too dirty. Put it down. No, put this, yeah, put it, now drape the chocolate all over the cap. The cap. Very good. I read, I read your mind. You read my mind? Mm -hmm. Wow, it must be psychic. Okay, get it all there. Still got a lot of... Okay, turn it over. There you go. Mm. I want to eat it. <laughs> you eat it after, okay? 
We're gonna eat the ingredients after, right? Yep. That looks like real broccoli. It looks like real broccoli? Not yet. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Did you coat every place? Don't forget yeah. the spots. Why are we making this green if we're gonna if we're gonna Because we're gonna we're it. we're making it a little bit easier for us so we don't have to use too much powder. Okay, okay you got all the spots? I think so. Okay, perfect. Let me get this ready, the non -pareils. Okay, so now you're gonna turn it over. Alright. And you're gonna pick it up. Go ahead, pick it up. Okay. And you let it drip, 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 drip. Okay, you're gonna let it drip. Take I feel it a little like bit. It's gonna fall. You feel like it's gonna fall? If it falls, we'll put it back together. Oh. That's okay. Pick it up again. Okay, very good. Drip, 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 okay, drip. So, drip, Juliana, did it finish dripping? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, dip. Now, put it in the nonpareils. Roll it around, nice and easy. Make sure you get all the sides. Perfect. And then we. Oops. It's oh, okay. Oh, sorry, Zia. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe I should have got a bigger plate, right? Yeah. And then you're gonna put it on here, the pan. Perfect. I think yours has less wrinkles than mine. Maybe I should dip them again. Yeah. Like oh, this. Oh no! Now I see them. Like this. You should really do it over here. Do it over so. here. Is that good? Yeah. Perfection. Perfection. Okay. Perfection. So we're gonna leave that like this, and we're gonna let it dry. For how many hours? Not for how many hours. Uh, in fact, what we can do is to speed up the process, we can put it inside the refrigerator because this is chocolate. So as soon as we put it in the refrigerator, it's gonna it's get gonna hard. Help. Very good. So we're going to put that in the refrigerator, and then we're going to dip. Take this. No, no. Oh. We're going to dip our branches inside the chocolate so they turn green. Can we do it now? Well, we're going to do it. So, well, let me put this in the fridge. Then we're going to dip it. Then we're going to put these to dry. And then we're going to put in the fridge. Then we put that in the fridge. Then when everything is hard, we're going to take this. And this and put it together. With the white chocolate? With the white chocolate. Now it's green chocolate. <laughs> and then we're going to let that dry. And then we're going to paint it. Ooh, Sound yummy good? Fun. Yummy okay. fun. Okay, so let's put this in the fridge and we'll, we'll do the branches, okay? Did you hear what I said? Yummy fun. Yummy fun. <laughs> right, so now we're going to dip our branches yeah. inside the chocolate. We're going to let it drip. And then we're going to put it on the pan and we're going to let them dry, right? Uh -huh. Okay. You want to go first? Sure. Take the spoon, help you with the spoon. Good. It's making it soggy. It's making it, it's, it's, so it's drooping, okay, for a couple reasons. One, it's because you have a very thin piece, but the chocolate, once it dries, it's going to make it hard. Okay, so don't worry it being droopy right now. Once you put it on the pan and you let it dry, it's gonna get hard. Okay, let's see, I hope you. Okay, ready? Am I gonna get dirty? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes, you're gonna get a little dirty. It's okay. <laughs> this is what the fun is, right? A little bit, I guess. A little bit? Okay, so you're going to let it drip, 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 drip. Like this. Let go. Let go. Ew, let it... it's so messy. <laughs> it's so messy. Well, I'm going to get you a paper towel, so hold on a second, all right? All right? So we're going to let it drip, 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 and when drip, it stops drip, dripping, drip. we're going to just put it on the pan like that. Pan, right? <laughs> all right, we're going to put that in the fridge. That in the we're going to let it get hard. Let it get hard. And then we're going to take both pieces and we're going to put them together with the rest of this of chocolate. The chocolate. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> we got the uh, caps out of the fridge and we got the branches out of the fridge as well. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put them together. So we have the cap Wait, and I the branch. This, mine. this one is mine. No, that. This one's yours? No, no this no, one's mine. This one's yes, that one's yours. Okay. It so, doesn't look like real broccoli, Zia. Yeah? Okay, we're going to make it look like real broccoli. Just give me a second. I'll show you, okay? Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over. We're going to put this on the pan backwards, okay? And then we're going to take the branch and we're going to dip the top part inside the chocolate. Can I do that now? One second. Let me just show you first. And we're going to then put it on top. 
dipped the branches and we laid the caps on top of the caps. So cool. So they can attach to itself. So, um, so we did a little dribble here. Yeah, dribble. Right? Dribble. But we're going to cut that out. Just going to cut the excess off. Okay. Perfect. Now what we're going to do them. is we're going to color them. Color them. Okay. So this is what they look like. So far, but we're not finished. Right? Yeah. And now we're going to color them. Now here's the deal. Well, Z, uh, Z he's a real deal man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Juliana asked me why we have yellow powder coloring, right? Mm -hmm. And we also have green powder coloring. Where did it go? We all know what, what the green is for, right? We all know what the green is for. Mm -hmm. But the yellow, the yellow, the yellow will bring out the, the color yeah. in the green. In the green, so we're gonna put yellow first. And then we're going to put green to make it look like broccoli. But can we, like, put yellow on top of it to see if it needs any touches? Yes, we're going to put, we're going to touch it up with both colors, and we're going to make oh, it I look... I see a little yellow there. Exactly right. Perfect. Okay, so let's set that up, okay? Perfect. So you're going to take a little bit of... You're going to dab it. Okay, perfect. Now you're going to put it all over the broccoli. Even the Do, stem? Even the stem. Okay, let me show what you're doing. Oh, it's getting thick, Nazia. Yeah, yeah. Do you okay. like it there? Yeah, put it on the top of the broccoli too. Oh, think of the color. Yeah, it's also gonna make it matte. See, we don't want it shiny because broccoli's not shiny, right? Yeah, broccoli's not shiny unless I cut the sun. Okay, perfect. Or it has a tan. Or it has a tan. Okay, do the other broccoli too. The other broccoli? Yeah, do do the other broccoli too. This is fun painting. It's getting thick on the stem. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna fix it. To the to the top. We just put some yellow powder on the broccoli, and now we're gonna dab the green powder on the broccoli. Just dab it. And then once you get to the stem, you're going to smooth it out like this. Add it just like that and coat all the white non pearls. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. Perfect. So we did a dabbing motion on the cap and we did a painting motion on the stem, right? Yeah. So there's one more step that we have and then our broccoli is complete. It's Complete. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of cocoa powder. Okay? Oh, I forgot about the cocoa powder. Yes, we're going to take a little bit of cocoa powder and we're going to paint with it. And why are we going to paint with it? Because so broccoli... It hey. I'm going to put it over here, okay? All right, I'm gonna get so wait, hold on a second. Tell them what we're going to do now. So we're going to um, paint, paint the... Um, Cocoa powder. So we're going to use the last again? The last step is we're going to put cocoa powder as a coloring on top of the broccoli. Why? Because when you buy broccoli, there's dirt on it. There is? Yes, that's why you have to wash your vegetables before you eat them, right? So the brown is going to give the little specks of dirt. See how like we have little specks of dirt? We have like little specks of dirt inside the broccoli, we're going to do the same thing, okay? But this is going to be delicious because it's cocoa powder. That's right, it's going to be delicious. Okay, so you're going to dab it a little bit, and then you're going to just lightly dab it on your, the, the just the top, just the top. Oh, just the top. Just the top, yep. Did I do good? You did good. Does it look like a real broccoli? Yeah, but you want to put less. Okay, so why don't you just leave it, you, you put a little bit too much, right? We're going to just mm. brush it off. Look, see? Oh, can I try? Yeah, brush it off. So now we're going to take the cocoa powder. And we're gonna just dab a little bit on each and just and then wipe off the excess so there's no there's no spots of brown. It's just supposed to get inside the layers. So, okay, don't so we, forget to hit the subscribe button. What do you think? when your mom tell, tells you to eat your broccoli, say what ask her what kind? And say, I want dessert and pasta because that's sugary. Perfect.
This is the fake broccoli, and this is the real broccoli. What looks, do you think? Looks pretty good, right? What do you think? Which one's real or not? Uh huh. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos. Very good. So I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. Please subscribe so you can watch more videos with Crafts with Zia. Crafts with Zia. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll That's see you soon. My Zia. I love you. Love you. See you soon.